Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sin Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by men ever, ever, ever again in your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below also, okay? And also, brand, brand new on my website. If you are a woman and you love love quotes and dating quotes, relationship quotes, then I have something special just for you. I have my top 100, yes, 100 love quotes straight from me, my top 100 love quotes in a mini ebook format, and that is also available on my website. Link is in the description below for that also, okay? So go check that out too. So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, What He Sees in Her That He Does Not See in You. Okay, so you may be wondering why this man had left you for another woman sometimes, you know, because some women, maybe you was dealing with a man and you thought that everything was going good. It seemed like you was going good. It seemed like y'all was on a good path. But all of a sudden things got rocky and he got involved with another woman. You end up finding out later, right? And he ended up being with her and leaving you. And now you're sitting there wondering why is he giving her everything? Like he was not, you know, over time it was good in the beginning. And then over time he started slacking and he started getting too comfortable. And that's probably around the time when he started dating that other woman or entertaining other women and he started giving them attention. And that's the reason why, because you noticed this man patterns, you picked up on this man patterns and you said, hey, you acting kind of different now. You're not as available as you used to be. You don't call me as much, what's going on? You started noticing a change in his behavior and you found out it was another woman. And then all of a sudden, later on, he ended up leaving you for that same woman or it might have been that woman that he told you not even to worry about right you know a lot of times a man might tell you oh yeah you know this is just my friend me and her oh me and that girl right there that's just my friend me and her we just cool we ain't never done nothing we ain't never had nothing that's just my friend but later on down the line you realize wait a minute that same person you told me not to worry about, you end up being with that exact same person or end up sleeping with that exact same person. Or I catch this person, you know, y'all got text messages with each other or, you know, I found out you cheating on me with that same person that you told me to not even worry about. You told me don't even worry about that girl, whatever. And you as a woman, you said, okay, I ain't gonna worry about it. But here he go. And he messing with that same girl. So you trying to figure out, dang, Sid, he just gonna up and leave me? 
I made him. You might have poured into this man. You gave this man all of your best years. You gave this man all of you. You gave this man your body, your time, your money, your emotional support. You gave this man everything. Everything he could possibly want out of a woman. And for him to just betray you like that, for him to just turn his back on you like that, for him to just act like you don't even exist, like you wasn't the one that was helping him out when he was down. When this man did not have nothing to his name, this man had zero to his name, and you was the one that was there for him every single time when nobody else was there for him. You was there for him. When he was going through his roughest and, and bad and just terrible times in his survival mode, Guess what? You was there. You was there every step of the way. You was there. That other woman, she wasn't nowhere to be around. You was the one right by his side. And then you want to know, why did he betray me, the person that was here, the person that loved him, the person that cared? How he going to betray me for another woman that just came up off the street and he just give her everything, but he was not giving everything to me or I was pouring into him and he just run off and, and I built this man up and I built him up for another woman but you may ask me but Sid the ultimate question here this is the ultimate question the ultimate question you may ask is why what does this other woman what does she have that me as a woman I don't have what does this other woman have that I don't have? You know, what's up with that? How she, how he just going to leave me? I thought me and him was a team and he just going to up and leave me and betray me, turn his back on me, bite me, and then he just going to go with another woman and it's just going to be, you know, sunshine and rainbows and butterflies with her. But it was destruction with me and I, and I gave up everything to build this man and get us to where we was at. And he just gonna just run off with another woman and give her everything and tr even treat her. Sometimes he treat her way better than he treats you. And you wanna know what she got that I don't got? What did she do that I don't do? What's up with her? Why do you like this other woman? What does this other woman, what kind of control does this other woman have over you that you just gonna up and leave me? Like what about her? What's up with her? Right? Okay. All right, ladies, so I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you that breakdown. I'm going to give you that breakdown from a man in a man's translation, in a man's mind, why men will leave you for another woman and the reasons why sometimes a man is attracted to another woman over you or put another woman over you will just leave and just dump you off to the side of the road and go with another woman and ride off in the sunset with her, right? So I came up with my top five. Yes, I said five reasons why a man will choose another woman over you and why he is attracted to another woman over you. Like what are the key reasons why a man will pick another woman over you and what the other woman got over you. Like the reason why he picked the other woman, like the things that she is doing that you may or may not be. So let's talk about it, right? Let's go to number one. The first reason why he may or may not pick her over you is she's more emotionally available, right? So this woman, the other woman, she may be more emotionally available than you. You know, maybe you and this man, let's just say you and this man, y'all always arguing. Y'all argue all the time. Let's say he try to talk to you, you know, and I know a lot of you ladies, you may say, but see, I'm easy to talk to. He shouldn't have to talk to no other woman. He should have to talk to me. He should only need to talk to me. Why should he have to talk to anybody else, right? Now, I agree, ladies, but however... Sometimes, and I'm not justifying, I'm not justifying at all, but I'm just explaining, not justification, just the explanation as to a man's psychology. A lot of times when a man may or may not feel like I cannot talk to my woman, she does not listen to what I have to say. When I'm venting, she doesn't even care or she's not even really there for me or, you know, she's always judgmental 
or she's always, you know, just, you know, he can't, he feel like he can't never tell you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because you might, you know, get mad or you might blow up about it or maybe y'all just don't connect on that level. Like maybe it's just like, you know, physical and, you know, surface level cool, but he don't really feel like he can really talk to you. Maybe he don't really feel comfortable as comfortable as he does with the other woman. The other woman, she may be easier to talk to. Maybe she actually listen. Because sometimes, a lot, sometimes you as a woman, you may think that you listen to your man. And I don't mean listen like, you know, he tell you what to do. That's not what I'm saying. I mean listen as far as actually hearing and, you know, being present and actually listening to him vent to you. Like, can a man actually vent to you? Can your man actually vent? Can your man actually be vulnerable with you? You know what I'm saying? Without judgment. Because you as a woman, you may say, yes, yeah, it. you know, he could be vulnerable with me. But you as a woman, sometimes you may say, you may, you may say that now, but let's say that man make you mad. As soon as that man make you mad, oh, 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 you this, oh, that's why you was crying. You was crying like a little baby. Oh, yeah, that's why this, that, this happened. And that's why, yeah, you so soft and you so sensitive and this, this, this. And, and you know... You know, a lot of times, you as a woman, you may or may not realize it, but sometimes you emasculate your man. You know, sometimes you make your man feel this big. And when sometimes when you make this man feel like he's this big, like, let's just say this man cry in front of you. Let's just say something really happened, tragic happened, and this man, like, crying, he's expressing his feelings and stuff like that. He's vulnerable with you. He's, he's upset, you know? Maybe he went through a rough time. He's just trying to get on his feet or, you know, something tragic in his life happened. You know, anything tragic happened, right? And he's crying, he's upset. And, you know, you're there for him in the moment, right? But then later on down the line, let's say you get mad at him. Oh, you gonna cry. You was crying like a little baby. You was crying like a little a little B word. You know what I'm saying? You was crying like a little whatever. And a lot of times this man, once you say that, this man is like, dang, I can't come to my woman for nothing because she gonna make me feel like I'm less of a man. I know I can't come to her because she gonna feel like I'm weak. I can't come to her because she judges me. I can't come to her because we argue all the time. I can't come to her because we always just bumping heads. I, I don't feel the love no more. I don't feel I don't feel the attention no more. She she don't really she don't do the things she used to do no more. Sometimes you as a woman, you may or may not have gotten lazy in the relationship. You know, you was doing the things when you find, you know, when you was trying to get that man's attention, you know, you was breaking your neck to get that man's attention. You was doing everything to get this man's attention. Then when you finally got this man's attention, you finally got him. He finally got with you. Then you started slacking. And then when he started slacking, he started feeling like, dang, like, what about me? Everything always about you, you, you. I'm doing all this for you. You know, I'm going all my all, all my way for you, but he may feel a disconnect with you. And sometimes when a man feels a disconnect with you emotionally, like he can't come to his woman for nothing, and it's always an argument, or he, you always going to say something back, or you're always so, you know, combative and always so like, you know... You're, you're not you're not receptive to what he has to say or you don't make him feel like what he has to say is important then sometimes a man will will seek his will will seek that void or that validation elsewhere and he will go to another woman that may fulfill that need emotionally because now the new woman I'm gonna tell you what the new woman doing right? I'm not, again, again, I'm not justifying it. I'm not saying this right. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's definitely, ladies, it's wrong. This is wrong. This is terrible. If you need me to tell me this is wrong, what I'm explaining is wrong, but it's the truth in a lot of situations when it comes to men. I'm just explaining so that you're aware of it. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just telling you so you can know to watch out for this, right? I'm just sending you the warning sign. So, I'm going to tell you what this other woman is doing. This other woman, she is being emotionally available. She's she's sitting there, you know, she's quiet, she's listening. And not to say that you got to be quiet and you got to sit down and shut up. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you have to let a man control you. I'm not saying you have to sit down, shut up, and listen to him, do whatever, and he going to tell you what to do. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just listen to what he got to say. Sometimes a man want to vent to you. Sometimes a man, he want to tell you about his day. 
You know, a lot of times you as a woman, you may say, you know, you come in the house and you tell him, oh, oh, my boss did this. You know, my friend did this. My homegirl did this. Let me tell you about my day. Let me tell you about this, 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 this. Let me tell you about this, this, this. You want this man to be emotionally available to you and to listen to everything you got going on in your life and your day and everything going on with you. But when it come to him and he try to tell you about his day or he want to tell you about what's going on with him, you act like you don't even care or you or it's or or you're not as excited to listen and to be engaged with what he has to say, like how he is with you. Right. So sometimes if it's like that. He's like, dang, this woman make me feel like I'm not important. She made me feel like what I have to say is not important. And then this other woman that come along that's showing him that attention, that's talking to him, that's, you know, not argumentative, that's non-judgmental. Like, she don't judge me. I can tell her everything. You know, we're going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? She gave me advice. She's there for me. You know, I feel more connected with her than I do my own girl, right? So sometimes if that man is not getting that emotional support and he don't feel like he has a voice or he has... You know, he's not important, you know what I'm saying, with you, or you're going to judge him, or you're going to put him down as a man. He feel like he can't come to you for nothing. So he's going to come to another woman to fulfill that need. So sometimes that may be a reason why he may leave you for that other woman. So again, I'm not justifying it. I'm just explaining, okay? So number two. So number two. The second reason why a man will leave you for another woman and give her everything that he was not giving you is he is selfish and greedy, right? So if this man is a selfish man, let's say this man is selfish. Let's say this man is greedy. Let's say this man just wants to explore his options. He does not want to settle down. Or he's just a serial cheater and he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too. So if this man, if he just wants his cake and he just wants to eat it too, that means that even when he's getting with you, even when he's with you, even when you two are together, he's still going to be looking for better options or other options than you to fulfill him as a man because he is not complete on his own as a man so he needs extra validation from all these women because if I as a man if I have low self-esteem let's just say me as a man if I have low self-esteem I don't believe in myself. My finances are not where I want them to be. I'm in survival mode or in my mind, I'm just not mentally available, not emotionally available. Then that means I just want somebody to fill that void because I'm not happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to depend on all these other women to make me happy. So all these other women are going to be responsible for making me happy right? Because I'm not happy by myself. So in order for me to feel happy and feel like I'm a man, if I have a lot of women around me validating me, making me feel good, I got this girl, she calling me handsome. This girl, she give me her money. This girl, she give me her body. This girl, she give me whatever, you know? So all these different girls play a different role in my life to fulfill me as a man. So I feel like I'm valuable because I have all these women that value me and they put me up on a pedestal, right? So if all these other women, if they chasing up after me and they put me up on a pedestal, now I'm valuable. So if this man is just a greedy and selfish man, then he's just a serial cheater. So that means that no woman, it's not even just you. In this case, it's not even just you. Even if he get with that other woman, let's just say he do leave you. If he does leave you and he goes with this other woman, a lot of times what's going to happen is he's going to get with that other woman and he's going to end up doing her the exact same way that he did you. If he's going to dog you out, he's going to dog that other woman out. Trust me. Majority of the time, if he cheated on you, 
he it's just a matter of time before he cheat on her too. And then he gonna get with the new girl. He gonna cheat on her. Then the next girl, he gonna cheat on her. And it's gonna be a never ending cycle because no woman can complete him because he's not complete on his own. So he's always searching for validation to complete him as a man because he may have certain issues, whatever, eternally that he has not healed yet from, right? So that's something that we don't talk about a lot of times too. So this man, he is a broken man and he needs validation from multiple women to make him feel complete. So in this case, the reason why he's leaving you, it ain't you, is that no woman can complete him. So even if you was a great woman, you could have been doing everything right. Let's say you was a perfect, you was a perfect woman. You did everything. You, you gave him everything. Anything a man could ever want, you was it. But you will never be the right woman for the wrong man. If he's the wrong man, you will never be the right woman for the wrong man ever. Because he don't even want you. He don't like you. He don't want nothing to do with you. He don't really care. You know what I'm saying? So when a man is like that, that's when you got that's when you know that, you know, a lot of times it's not even you. It's it's him. And he just not complete. So any woman that come into his life, it's going to be the exact same thing. He going to cheat on her too. He going to lie to her too. He going to disrespect her too. Put his hands on her too. Cuss her out. Do whatever to her too. And the next girl and the next girl. Right? So he just selfish and greedy. He just leaving you bouncing from woman to woman to woman because he don't even know who he is. So he need all these different women to validate him. That's it. Right? So that's number two. It wasn't you, it's all him. It's not you, it's him, right? So he just bouncing around. So that's number two. Number three, the third reason why a man will leave you high and dry for another woman and ride off in the sunset with her and kick you to the curb is he finds her more attractive, okay? So if this man finds that woman more attractive than he finds you. I'm sorry, ladies, but it's the truth. Some men, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, some men are really shallow. You may say, Sid, that's so wrong. Just because that other girl look better, he going to leave me just because that other girl may be more attractive than me? And he just go up and leave me? Yes, there are a lot of men that, ladies, I'm going to tell you, Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. There are some men, not all men, not all men, but there are some men that will, they will leave you if a better opportunity comes around. I'm just letting you know so you're aware there are men that will find other women more attractive than you and will leave you in a heartbeat if that opportunity comes around. And some men, they're just like that. They're just, they're just savages, just, they just selfish. They just don't care about nothing else but they self. As long as they get what they want, they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they destroy. They don't care about none of that. They don't care about the person that they hurt. They just care about what they get in return, what they can get. So, yes, there are. I'm just letting you know. Again, I'm not justifying. I'm just trying to let y'all know. I'm trying to give y'all the red flags so y'all be out here just clueless or just blind to what men are trying to do. I'm trying to give y'all the game so y'all don't go out here and get played no more, right? So I'm giving y'all pure game of what a lot of men, they do and they think in their mind. I'm going to be honest with you. If a man see a woman that do got a bigger booty than you, some men, not all men, but there are some men in this world that will leave you because another girl down the street got a bigger booty than you and she show him a little bit of attraction or a little bit of interest back. I'm just letting you know. I'm sorry to tell you like that, but I have to be real with you. There are some men, not all men again, but there are some men that will leave you for another woman just because her body look better, just because she's prettier, that he perceives as prettier, 
it, again, it's his perception. It don't mean that the girl is necessarily prettier or the girl necessarily got a better body than you. That does not necessarily mean that. That's that man's perception. That's his perception. He perceives that other woman as you. That's not what's true. His perception is not valid. That's not facts. His perception is that he viewed individually him. He viewed that other woman as uh, more attractive than you, right? That don't mean that she's more attractive. It's just him. But in that man's mind, he's looking like, dang, this girl, she got a bigger booty than my girl. This girl, she got a better body, prettier face than my girl. Or this girl, her hair longer than my girl. Yes, there are men that are just cutthroat, selfish, greedy, don't care, savages, just they do not care. Like, they will cut you off completely high and dry if another woman that got a bigger booty show him more attention. I'm sorry to tell you, there are men like that that's just shallow. There are a lot of shallow men that will leave you high and dry for just a prettier woman that he perceives as pretty, right? So you as a woman, you got to be careful because there are some men like that. Just like, you know, I'm a flippy. How, how, how about this? How about this? I'm a flippy. Right? Let's flip it. Let's bring it back. Let's flip it around. Right? Let's remix it a little bit. Let's remix it. Right? Now, let's go to the woman's side. I can say the same thing about a woman. I can tell a man the same thing about a woman. I can, I can say, bro, there are women that will leave you in a heartbeat, high and dry, right or wrong. They're not all women, not all women, but there are some women in this world, and y'all can't agree. Anybody can agree with me on this. Anybody can back me up on this. There are some women that will leave their man in a heartbeat if another man with more money comes along. Right or wrong? Some, some women, not all women, but some women, if they got a man right now and another man ride in a Lamborghini or he ride in a Bentley and he pull up on her and he got a mansion in the hills somewhere and he like her and he's attractive or he's a celebrity or he's a guy with a blue check mark on Instagram or he's a guy that's taller or he's a guy that's more handsome, stuff like that. Yes, there are shallow women, too. There are a lot of shallow women, too, that will leave their man, their good man. Even if he's a good man, he could be a perfect man. There are some women in this world that will leave a good man for a man, for another man that they feel like is better. They'll leave their boyfriend, their husband. If this other dude, if he got more money, oh, I'm going with the man in the Bentley. My man, he got a Toyota. You know, your man, your man, you like, hey, my, my man, he got a Honda. He got a Toyota. This other guy trying to holler at you, he in the NBA, and he trying to holler at you. Or or he a rapper with a, with a blue check mark, or he an athlete with a blue check mark, and he trying to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, you gone. They gone. They out of, they, they out of there. They gone. They gone in a heartbeat. So, yes, on both sides, there are shallow people. There are shallow men. There are shallow women. There are people in this world that will leave you, whether you're a man or a woman, dog or cat. There are people in this world that will leave you for another option if that option comes along that's perceived to be better than you. Even if it's not better than you, perception is everything. So if that man feels like that woman and he's attracted to a woman that's shaped like that or looks like that, then that's what he wants. And he's going to go after her and leave you high and dry. So I'm just letting you know there are some men that are like that. There are some men that will leave you in a heartbeat just because, oh, girl, she hey, she, hey her body banging. And your body, eh, it's cool, it's all right. But her body, psh, boy, she look like an Instagram model. And she want to talk to me? Oh, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gone. He going to cut you off and leave you high and dry. And be like, shh, bye. Kick you to the curb somewhere, you know? And forget all about you and be, and be right with that girl. Just because her body is perception perceived 
to be better than yours or her face appears to be more attractive than yours you know so i'm just trying to tell you i'm sorry it's like that but there are i have to be honest with you and i have to be real with you ladies so y'all be aware of this i don't want y'all to be hurt no more i want y'all to be aware that there are some men that will leave you for another woman just because just because she look good Hey, it's it, hey, that's life. It's life. I'm just trying to tell you, that's life. Some men are like that. So it's not right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not justifying. I'm just explaining. So y'all be aware of it. Okay? So that's number three. Number four. The fourth reason why a man will leave you high and dry for another woman, kick you to the curb, forget all about you, and just dismiss you and give the other woman everything is she fulfills his physical needs okay so again let's just say this woman she fulfills his physical needs so in the bedroom when he's smashing that other girl sometimes it's just the fact that her, her other girl she just better in bed than you are the other girl she better at what she do then what you do, the other girl, she may be, the other girl, you know, she may have a little better, you know what I'm saying, in the bedroom when y'all smashing, when y'all two are having sex and stuff like that in the bedroom, a lot of the times, you know, this woman, she may have a better grip action, you know what I'm saying, she might be a little, you know what I'm saying, mm, might be a little more, might have a little more grip on that thing than, than you sometimes, you know what I'm saying, or sometimes that woman, you know, maybe, you know, maybe some of the things that she does, you won't do. You know, sometimes a man will leave you because you may be boring in the bedroom. You don't want to try new things in the bedroom. You know, I've been trying to do certain things with you in the bedroom. You said no. So I'm going to go off and I'm going to go find another woman that's going to let me do these certain type of things to this woman in the bedroom when we smashing. You know what I'm saying? So when we so when we in the bedroom and we doing our thing, this other woman, she going to do it all. This other woman, she going to be freaky, nasty. She going to do whatever. Every, anything I want this girl to do, she going to do it. My girl, she act like she too good for it. My girl, she act like she don't want to do nothing. Like, let's just say it's not even as often. Sometimes it's the frequency, okay? Sometimes it's the frequency of how much y'all do smash. Let's say you and your man, y'all don't really, y'all used to smash back in the day when y'all first started talking, but then all of a sudden, let's just say you got too comfortable, or let's just say you got too comfortable, or let's just say over time, you just got tired, you got busy, life changed, and your moves changed, and you stop wanting to smash him. You stop wanting to have sex a lot of times because you felt like, you know, I'm, I'm tired, I don't want to, my stomach hurt, I'm cramping all the time, I don't feel like it, I got a headache, oh my gosh, you know, and sometimes, again, I'm not justifying, I'm just explaining, yes, there are some men that are shallow and that will say, you know what, I'm not getting the amount of pleasure, the amount of smashing of sex that I want out of my girl, me, my girl barely give it to me. Me and my girl, I got to beg her. Every time I got to beg this girl to sleep with her. I want to sleep with my own girl and she always tired. Every time I want to, every time I want to smash her, every time I want to sleep with her, she always so tired. I'm tired. I don't want to. My stomach hurt. I don't want to. Stop touching me. Uh. And this man, he get tired of that. And that man, he like, well, if you ain't going to give it to me, then I'm going to find another woman that will. So what happens is he does find another woman that gives him that frequent pleasure all the time. So he know he can always call her up and get it from her. And when he try to call you up, even though he is a good man, he may be a really good man. He may actually deserve it. and He's a good man. And he's giving you everything. But you as a woman, let's say you tired or whatever. And again, I'm not justifying it because you, you as a woman, I'm going to tell you right now, you have every right to say no. I ain't say you ain't had no right. You have the right. It's your body. It's your body. It's your body. You have every right to say no. It's your body. You have every right to say no. You have every right to tell this man, 
I have a headache. I don't feel like it. And he should respect it. He should. He, the key word is should. He should respect it. But I'm going to tell you, some men, they won't, okay? He should respect it. That's what he should do. He should respect your body. He should say, okay, baby, that's fine. I'm not going to cheat on you just because you're not going to give me any pleasure tonight and you just want to chill tonight, okay? He should be faithful to you anyways, regardless. He should. However, I'm going to tell you right now, there are some men that don't care about none of that. And there are some men that if you do not give them consistent pleasure, they will seek it elsewhere. I'm not justifying it. I'm just explaining that there are some men like that that you need to watch out for. It's not right, but hey, some men like that. Some men, they feel like if me and my girl not smashing all the time, every day, whenever I want it, I'm going to seek it elsewhere. She don't give me her kitty cat, I'm going to go get another kitty cat, okay? Hey, it's not right, but some men like that. They're going to kick you to the curb. The second you say no, the day you say no, that one time you say no, okay, or even if over time, you know, sometimes it might not be that one time. Sometimes it might be over time. Over time, you know, y'all smash, you know, once a week or y'all smash twice, you know, once a week or y'all smash once every two weeks or once a month. Y'all barely ever smash each other. You know what I'm saying? So him as a man, he got needs and stuff like that. So, again, I'm not justifying it, but some men, they will. They, they might seek that. Seek that pleasure in that void elsewhere in another woman. And what happens is that other woman, she laying it down. The other woman, she doing all the tricks, all the stuff you ain't doing in the bedroom. She doing it. He ain't got to ask her. She ask her for nothing. He ain't got to beg her. He ain't got to ask her. She doing it. She being nasty. She, she doing all types of tricks and all types of stuff in the bedroom that you not doing. Hey, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying some men, they like, dang, this girl, she get down. This new girl, she doing all the kind of, she make me feel good. My girl, she lazy. My girl, she laid back like a starfish, <laughs> you know. My girl, she laid back just like this, like a, like, like a, <laughs> my girl got her legs up like this, like, like a dead cockroach, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time me and my girl smash, my girl look like a dead bug, <laughs> like a dead cockroach with her legs up just like this, like, or she just spread out like a starfish, like, just come on, or you always got an attitude every time, you're like, oh, come on, just come on, just hurry up, just hurry up, oh, come on, just hurry up, and this man feel like he know when it's forced, y'all women, y'all women, be thinking that men are that men don't be knowing a lot of men they be knowing they know when you're not into it they can tell some men they can tell when you just like here take it here just take it just take it here like here just take it and a lot of times a man they don't they don't like that 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 type of you know they they want you to want it just like i want it you know i want to smash you and if i'm your man i would expect you to want to smash me but if you got an attitude every time we trying to smash or every time stuff like that, you know, it's like, dang, why you got an attitude every time? You know what I'm saying? I don't have no attitude when I'm paying all these bills. I'm paying all these bills. I don't have no attitude when I'm paying all these bills around here. I don't have no attitude when you need me to do something for you. So why when I need something as a man out of you, you got an attitude every time. But this other girl, she ain't got no attitude. This other girl, she calling me, trying to, trying to, trying to do whatever to me. She wanted, huh? She wanna do all types of tricks and all types of stuff to me. Be all types of kinky with me. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she get down. This other girl, she ain't. Hey, she get down. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she all in it. You know what I'm saying? She just better. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she just better. Maybe she just got, she just got better. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this woman is, you know, tighter than you. Maybe this woman just, her body feel better. Maybe her body's better. Maybe she just, she just do better tricks and better things than you do. Or maybe she do things that you will never do. 
You know, it's certain things that you told that man, I would never do that. No, don't. You ain't finna put that right there. You ain't finna put that in me right there. You ain't finna do that to me. I don't want to do that. I, that's off limits. That's off limits. So this man, he find that other girl and she down for whatever. She gonna do it all. You know? So that's the reason why he leave you and he go to her because she gonna get down and she ain't got no attitude when I ask her for it. And she actually asking me for it. So you know what? My girl uh, is boring with you. You always got an attitude. You barely give it to me. It's boring. You don't You don't really be in it. You just give me that here, take it. Here, take it, kitty cat. You know, here, take it. Oh, here, take it. You keep begging for it here. I don't want that. As a man, I don't want that. I want, I want you to be excited to want to do it with me. So I'm going to go elsewhere. And again, some men are like that, okay? Some men, they just like that. So watch out for these type of men, okay? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why a man will leave you high and dry for a whole nother woman and kick you to the curb and forget all about your name is... You are simply not the right woman for him. What did I say earlier in the video? You will never be the right woman for the wrong man. You will never be the right woman for the wrong man. If he is the wrong man, and he is not a good man, and he is not uh, the type of man that you want to be with, or... If that man's perception of you, let's just say this man is not, maybe it's just not working out with y'all. Y'all never meant to be together. Or that man, he always knew in his mind that you were just a placeholder. This man was always using you as a placeholder. You was just the right now girl, the meantime, in between time girl. You was the girl that just so happened to be occupying my time right now in this period of time in my life until, and you're going to hold me over, this woman right here, you, you're going to hold me over until I find the woman that I really want to be with. So right now, I'm going to keep you in this little zone and as soon as I actually find a better option, I'm going to leave you for the woman I really want. You're not the woman I really want. I can't get the woman I really want right now. Or I have not met the woman I really want right now. However, I still want all of the benefits of a relationship. I still want to smash. I still want to hang out. I still want to kick it and all that. I still want all that, but I don't want the commitment part on her, per se. But I want the commitment part on the woman I really want. So this girl, she in my face. She giving me attention. She giving me everything I want. I guess I'll settle for her until I get the woman I really want to be with. And then as soon as the woman and that opportunity comes, I'm leaving you in a heartbeat. So I'm just being real with you. Some people, men and women, not just men, men and women, some people, people, some people on this earth, they will leave their significant other in a heartbeat, in a drop of a hat, right then and there, if another opportunity comes along, if another better, if a better and another opportunity comes along, they gone. If, you know, for a man, if a girl that got a bigger, if a girl got a nicer body than you, a prettier face than you, he will leave you. He will leave you for another woman, right? If a man, if, if a woman sees a man and he got more money than her man, that woman may or may not leave her man for that other man that got more money. It's just life. People are selfish on both ends. It's selfish men. It's selfish women. It's people on both ends are selfish. And they only want what they want. And they will use anybody else to get what they want. 
until they get what they want. So sometimes people are only as faithful as their options are. Okay? I'm going to say that one more time. People, a lot of people, not all people, but a lot of people are only as faithful as their options are. If they don't have a lot of options, they're faithful. If they don't have a lot of girls to pick from, okay, he going to be faithful to you because he, he don't got no other options. He ain't got no other girls that want him. He ain't got no other girls that look better than you. But the second that girl walked down the street and her stomach a little bit smaller than yours or her face a little bit prettier than yours or her or her chest is a little bit bigger than yours. She got a little bit more cleavage than you or 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 her butt a little bit bigger than yours. Guess what's going to happen? A lot of times this man will leave you in a heartbeat for a girl that got a bigger booty than you. I'm just being real. Or that's the woman that he actually wanted. Sometimes you might have just been in the right now, girl. He don't even like you. He just using you for right now, the meantime, until he find what he really want. Then when he find what he really want, the woman that he find attractive, the woman that of his dreams, his dream girl, that's what he want. He never wanted you. You is never going to be the right woman. And I'm sorry that may hurt a lot of you ladies' feelings, but some men... They already know in their mind that you will never be their wife. They already made up in their mind, you will never be my wife. I'm going to mess with you right now in the meantime until I get what I want. As long as I can benefit off of you right now, that's cool. But if I find another option, then I'm gone. And I was just using you for right now. So I know it's not right, but ladies, those are my top five those are all my top five reasons why a man might just leave you. He'll walk out on you. He will leave you high and dry for another woman and not care nothing about you. So you got to be careful about these men that don't care about you and that will just use you for the right now, meantime, until they find a woman that he really wants. Right? So just beware of those men. It's not all men that like that, but... Some men are like that, okay? So I'm not justifying it. All of this stuff, everything I named is wrong. It's all wrong. Everything I said is wrong. A man should be faithful to you regardless. But some men, they're sadly, they're not. So I'm just letting you know so you can be careful and beware so you don't get played no more, okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my top five five reasons why a man will leave you for another woman right so i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe y'all hit that bell notification and i'm out of here so to the next video